I quoted scripture. I sang. I declared. See your life. When I talk about prayer like this, I talk about this. It's a difference between the substance of prayer and the style of prayer. When the woman was far, what was she doing? She was shouting. But when she came close to Jesus, what did she do? She spoke. I just want to let you know that some shoutings we do in prayer is not a symbol of faith. It is simply a symptom of distance. We are too far away from God. That's why you are shouting. When you come close to God, your prayer life will change. Not too much drama. Many of you don't believe in simple prayers anymore. Because of what you watch on television. You want to vibrate. That is part of the reason why I didn't, I stopped doing this in the called ministry or adoration. It's part of the reason I stopped it. The moment I was doing booboo, yeah, you know that particular one you are doing and everybody is falling. Amaka is on the ground. Uh, um, Adrian is on the ground. Esther is on the ground, rolling like snake up and down, cleaning everywhere. You know, that's what ah, that was. But any day they come for program, and I, after teaching, I will do simple prayer. You see, all of them disappointed. We don't know what happened today. What happened? Father was not on fire today. No matter how much you shout, what makes prayer work is faith. And faith has no audio level. Faith can even be silent. Psalm 19, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart. And if you even follow the Bible strictly, the kind of prayer that the Bible gives you, even Jesus thought about it explicitly, is the second type. Simple prayer. Matthew 6. Go into the secret place. He said, don't be like this. Other people. When they want to pray, they are on the rooftop. They are shouting, they are vibrating. He said, no. When you want to pray, enter the secret place. And your father who hears and sees in secret will do what? We answer you. So listen to me very well now. I have no problem with those who must pray and do like this. Hey, I, don't know. I have no problem with you. I have no problem with those who pray and roll. No, no, I have no problem with you. I'm just telling you as my parishioners that what makes prayer work is not the pitch of your voice. It's not the number of Bible you quote. It's not even the song you sing. Singing is on another level. That's why I say P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Push also means praise. Praise is even another kind of prayer of its own. Sometimes in a situation, all you need to do is to do what? Praise. After praising, you don't even need to do any other thing. And God will take care of the situation. But you see, prayer, it is faith. That is the substance. It's not the drama. Go through the scripture now. Go through all the prayers, all the miracles Jesus uh, worked. Show me anyone where Jesus shouted. All the miracles he did. Show me anywhere he shouted. He quoted scripture or sang chorus. I'm challenging you. Show me any miracle Jesus did. And there was this kind of shout that we do these days. Even when he was casting out devils. Me, I can, if it is even deliverance you are doing, I can understand. We can shout during deliverance. But this one, you are talking to God. You are asking God for the fruit of the womb. Now, by first, now you get them. It's not deliverance. You are asking for. Do you know what it means to ask? Ask and you shall receive. Some of us don't even know that we are rude sometimes. 